Hi guys, Mike Lucas here. Uh, I'm out pike fishing today, I'm on the bank and I'm actually using dead baits as well as lures. Um, I've managed to actually catch a pike around about 15 minutes ago now and I've had it resting in the net for the last sort of 10 minutes or so. Um, the reason that I'm doing this video is I'm just going to support a few people uh, and give you some guidelines on how to handle pike, how to remove hooks safely as well. Um, as I said, I've actually had the fish resting for about 10 minutes. I tend to find that this helps, um, makes the fish a little bit more relaxed when you're actually getting them out and handling them. Um, I've actually caught the fish today using a, a circle hook. Um, this is something that I believe is a fantastic way of catching pike. Um, I don't find that I have any break-offs or any issues like you, you like, like the suggestions make. Um, I seem to find that they're quite good and I seem to catch quite regularly on them. Um, I'm now going to take the pike out of the water and put it into the bed. Just before I get uh, everything ready, before I take the fish out of the water, well, as you can see I've got my uh, bed ready and I've also got my pliers ready. It's always good to have some bolt cutters with you just in case of a bad scenario. However, again, fishing with circle hooks is a fantastic way, probably not to deep hook fish uh, as much as possible. I know it can happen, but uh, as I say, it's a better way to sort of protect the fish uh, and it's an easier way to actually remove the hooks as well. Um, just before I take the fish out of the water, you'll see it's not connected to my line anymore. I've used the snap-off lever just to literally take the line out so it's not connected to my rod, so I can put my rod away. And I've got plenty of space to handle the fish, just to make sure that the fish doesn't get damaged in any way. Okay then guys, let's see what we're dealing with here. Oh, so, Unfortunately, my hook has actually come undone, which just shows how easy it is sometimes with the circle hooks. It's a simple tracer that I'd use for lure fishing, and I just literally hook a simple circle hook onto my line, just like this, and I hang a sardine from it, and I just let the sardine float in the water. So, like any other fish, small or large, um, I would normally turn the fish on its back and use my pliers as and when to remove the hooks, but as it was caught quite well in the scissor, um, you can see that the fish itself is quite relaxed where I've left it in the water and it's managed to actually take its hook out itself. So I'm just going to give the fish a slight clean off, a little bit of damage to its face. And the same way I would with any of the other fish, I turn the fish directly onto its back and then slide my hands up inside the mouth, the gill plate, till I've got a good firm hold. The fish by the jaw, I then support the fish's body. As you can see, sometimes they do try and flap around. As you can see, this is quite a good croc, so I'm happy to support the body. Oh, right, as you can see again, a good firm hook can help as you present the fish for your photo. My jaw, sorry, the jaw of the fish, I've got it held very well, and I'm not touching them gill rakers as I showed in the previous video. It doesn't, I believe, hurt the fish, but it gives you a good stern hand on how to handle the fish. Hopefully that's okay. Uh, put the fish back in the water now. I'll leave it again for another five more minutes to rest uh, and then I'll set it on its way. Thanks a lot.